March 27, 2024, Red Sea. A U.S. warship detected a threat. Its radar detected four bogies closing in from Yemen, a signature move of the Houthi rebel drone attacks. Responding with interceptor missiles, the ship thwarted the threat, but the challenge persists. The relentless onslaught of drones, sometimes up to 14 in a single wave, strains military resources. The situation shows the asymmetrical warfare weakening U.S. military supremacy. While America boasts advanced weaponry, adversaries like Iran and China deploy swarms of inexpensive drones. Picture this, thousands of drones vanish in an instant, neutralized by an invisible wall of microwaves. This defense system costs mere pennies per sweep and operates flawlessly, unaffected by rain, clouds, or any weather condition. In this episode, we'll explore high-powered microwave weapons, the next wave of drone defense. These systems hold promise for neutralizing entire drone swarms with a single sweep, all at a fraction of the cost of traditional countermeasures. Comparatively, the Navy's current air defense system is armed with SM-6 standard missile and the Evolved Sea Sparrow missile, which are quite expensive as a single SM-6 cost over $3 million, while the Evolved Sea Sparrow missile costs $1.5 million. This is challenging as the drones which these missiles are targeting are very cheap. The long-range SM-6 missile, weighing 3,300 pounds and costing over $3 million each, is excessive for countering small drones. The next line of defense is a medium-range Sea Sparrow missile. Though smaller at 620 pounds, still carries a hefty price tag of $1.5 million per shot, which makes it very expensive to strike a few thousand dollar drones. The high cost means the U.S. Navy only acquires these missiles in small numbers, intended for defense against attack aircraft and anti-ship missiles. This limited acquisition of costly missiles underscores the urgent need for more efficient solutions to counter such threats. While some Navy ships are equipped with Phalanx rapid-fire Gatling guns, which is the last line of defense before the drones strike the ship, these guns have comparatively lower cost per shot, but these guns have short range and limited capacity, making them a last resort option against drone attacks. Therefore, relying solely on these Phalanx could be dangerous, as these guns can be overwhelmed by coordinated drone assaults, as we've witnessed in conflicts like Ukraine. Laser weapons offer cost-effective options, efficiently targeting threats of various sizes, unlike traditional missiles, which are expensive and often overkill for smaller threats. The U.S. Navy has installed a 30-kilowatt laser weapon system, LAWS, on the USS Ponce, which is authorized for defensive use in the Persian Gulf. Although LAWS prove effective in trials, they remain dormant in combat. Following the Ponce's retirement in 2018, the Navy abandoned LAWS due to prolonged charging times and beam coherence issues. The U.S. Navy is now transitioning to a larger 150-watt kilowatt laser system called Helios. However, despite its capabilities, the Navy still faces inherent limitations associated with laser technology. Cloudy or rainy weather can scatter the laser beam, reducing its effectiveness. Unlike a fired missile, lasers require sustained targeting to keep the beam on the drone for destruction, which can be difficult against fast-moving or evasive targets. Current laser systems often have a shorter effective range compared to some drone capabilities potentially leaving them vulnerable to attack before they can engage. In addressing the limitations of laser weaponry, microwave technology emerges as a promising alternative. Introducing Epirus, a Los Angeles-based company specializing in high-tech weapons. Their solution? The Leonidas Counter Uncrewed Aerial System, a microwave weapon designed to disrupt and destroy drones. This system emits powerful microwave beams and generates current inside electronic devices, causing them to overload. As a result, these drones are terminated immediately. In the words of Callenborn, it may be time to unleash the power of microwaves. Right, let's take a step back. Before diving into microwave weapons, we should first understand the threat itself. The Houthi rebels, armed with rudimentary drones assembled from inexpensive parts, have demonstrated the effectiveness of such tactics against advanced air defense systems like those of Saudi Arabia. Despite international efforts, the Houthis persist in their drone attacks, now targeting international cargo ships in the Red Sea, escalating tensions in the region, 
In regions like Iran, militant groups across Iraq and beyond, the threat of drone attacks on U.S. bases is escalating. In a tragic incident in January 2024, an Iranian-backed group targeted a U.S. outpost in Jordan, resulting in the loss of three American soldiers and the injury of 25 others. The proliferation of inexpensive drones presents a significant challenge. However, the advancement in microwave technology are tipping the scales in favor of defense. Instead of defense systems being prohibitively inexpensive, it's now the attackers who face dwindling resources first. Beyond aerial threats, the sea is also becoming a battleground. Groups like the Houthis deploy uncrewed speedboats packed with explosives, posing a significant risk to cargo vessels. Ukraine has successfully employed similar sea drones against Russian warships, wreaking havoc on the Black Sea Fleet. These attacks have exposed vulnerabilities in traditional defense mechanisms. Microwave technology emerges as a formidable solution, promising to reshape the battlefield and secure military superiority in an area of unconventional threats. Iparus Leonidas Counter Uncrewed Aerial System emits a powerful microwave beam that induces currents within electronic devices, leading to temporary faults or complete burnout. The secret lies in its design. Utilizing solid-state gallium nitride units, like LEDs but generating radio waves instead of light, a computer controller adjusts the output from each chip in the array to shape and steer the beam with high precision. In the rigorous test of 2021, Leonidas demonstrated unparalleled accuracy, successfully neutralizing all 66 drone targets it encountered. Even when faced with multiple drones simultaneously, Leonidas effortlessly eliminated them all in a single sweep. Unlike conventional radio jammers, which merely disrupt communications, Leonidas offers decisive action. This cutting-edge system offers a promising solution to the escalating threat posed by the influx of drones in modern warfare. No matter if a warship is attacked by a thousand drones, as they enter the wall of energy that microwave systems put out, the U.S. Navy can knock them all out 25 cents at a time. Directed energy presents a cost-effective alternative to traditional missile defense systems and laser weapons. With a deeper magazine capacity and lower cost per shot, Microwave weapons offer a strategic advantage in countering the proliferation of inexpensive drones. The system has no weather limitations as laser weapons have. Leonidas, though not a standalone system, integrates into a layered air defense strategy alongside radar, guns, and missiles. The U.S. Army contemplates deploying Leonidas units this summer as part of active service, offering potential salvation amidst Ukraine's battle against Iranian-supplied Shahid drones unleashed by Russia. Epirus has already supplied four Leonidas systems to the U.S. Army for evaluation. Microwave weapons present a cost-effective, multi-target solution against drone swarms whether they are in the air or sea. As the drone threat escalates globally, timely acquisition and deployment of directed energy weapons becomes imperative for effective defense strategies.